Hey guys, it's me, Megan. Um, just came back from Trader Joe's, so I figured I would show you what I got. So, here we go. Let's see, nothing's out of the bag, which isn't normally how I do this, so bear with me. Okay. Uh, first, I got Organics Baby Spinach from Trader Joe's. Um, this is only $1.99, so I really like the, their prices on produce. If you have one near you, it's just you can barely beat it. In fact, I don't think you can on most of this stuff. So anyway, um, okay, so I like to chop this up and put it in soups. I put it into salads. Um, I also have a spinach um, pesto recipe that I use this with. with it's spinach and sunflower seeds, so that's pretty cool. Then, let's see. Okay, I got a pineapple. That was a special request from my three-year-old, so put that over there. Uh, bear with me guys not very organized right this second okay this is a bag of sweet potatoes so and I think that this was also maybe like a dollar fifty something like that I should have pulled out my receipt here is oh they put it in a plastic bag how nice okay this is our new favorite non-dairy uh, ice cream treat it's soy creamy cherry chocolate chip. It's like ice cream. Um, it's just the exact same consistency as ice cream. It is delicious. They also have some coconut ice creams um, that are also really good, but this week I got this one. So um, let's see if it will focus here. Okay, yeah, there we go. A half cup is 190 calories, so it's a little bit steep on the calories, but hey, I only have a little bit anyway, and that kind of satisfies my sweet tooth, but it's really, really good. So, yeah, there you go. That's that. Um, I got a bag of Honey Crisp apples. Ethan, my three year old, he eats those like nobody's business. So, then I got some red Dianjou pears. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure. I'm married to a French guy, so if I'm mispronouncing that, that's really terrible. Anyway, okay, so I got those. I was going to get the green kind, but Ethan's favorite color is red, so we got red. So I'll let you know how those go. I don't think I've ever had a red pear, believe it or not. Then I got two sweet onions. Let's see. Okay, that's the end of bag number one. So let's see what else we got. I got a bag of kale. Um, this was also $1.99. I don't know if you guys um, have ever purchased kale leaves like off the shelf, but they are a pain in the rump because you have to wash them, then dry them, then destem them, then chop them. And by the time all that's over with, I'm just like over it. So I like the fact that um, this is already uh, cut, cleaned, and ready to cook. Yay. And I chop this up even more and put it into soups. I chop it up and... Um, do it like regular greens in a in a skillet and then I'll add it to stuff like wraps and stuff during the week but mm -hmm. this stuff is really oop, my battery is low so hopefully we can make it here this stuff is so good for you okay so you can have a third of the package for 45 calories it's got a little bit of fat in it all vegetables do in case you're wondering or don't know that okay so Dude, a third of this package, 290% of your daily vitamin A, 190% of your vitamin C, 8% of your iron, 15% of your calcium. It's just like really good for you. So anyway, there you go. That's that. I also got some broccoli florets. Jacob, my older son, he loves fresh broccoli. So got that. And then what he doesn't eat, I steam for everybody else and or like do it in the microwave and it's great. And I got some sliced mu white mushrooms. Again, um, I'm way more likely to use mushrooms if I don't have to wipe them and chop them myself. So, you know, I think this was like a dollar fifty or a dollar seventy nine, something like that. And it's worth it to me, even if it would have been cheaper otherwise. Okay. Trader Joe's soy yogurt. This is the vanilla flavor. I use this all week in my breakfast because I'll have this with nuts and fruit of some sort. I put frozen blueberries in it. Sometimes I'll put like a drizzle of maple syrup and stir it all together. And sometimes I also put flax seed in it for, since I'm vegan, I need like omega-3 
fatty acids and um, that has a lot of omega in it. So anyway, not the yogurt, by the way, the flax seed, just to be clear. Okay, um, peeled garlic. Normally I buy whole garlic and um, I just bang it out and chop it myself. But I saw this and it was only a dollar and I was like, oh wow, okay, that's cool because just peeling the garlic and all that is such a pain. So we'll see how that goes. Who knows if I'll keep doing that, but I figured I would give it a go. Okay, this is Trader Joe's Eggplant Hummus. OMG, people, if you have a Trader Joe's near you and you haven't tried this, you need to. It is delicious. I put it on toast in the morning. Um, I put it, um, instead of like mayonnaise, on a sandwich. I dip fruit in it. It's delicious. And like normal hummus is a little bit more high calorie than this. This you can have, ooh, okay, come on. Anyway, I don't know. That's never going to focus, apparently. But um, you can have two tablespoons of this for 35 calories. And if you, if, like on a standard hummus, it would be at least 70 calories for two tablespoons. So that's pretty good. Half calories. Yum, yum. I got some super firm tofu. Um, this you can chop up and stir fry into stir fries. And you don't have to be as gentle with it as you do other kinds of tofu because... I'm notorious for like sauteing it and then mixing it in with stuff and by the time it's mixed it's all broken up so I like this kind. Um, then I got, I've showed you guys this before, but I think I showed you a teriyaki flavor. This is their savory flavor and I like to cube this up and put it into soups. It's really, really, really good. So yum yum. Then I got some chickenless strips. I'm trying to stay away from stuff like this only because it is processed obviously, but um, it's good. Um, I like their beef kind that's um, their, their beef flavor of this exact same thing. And nine strips. Let's see, there's three servings per container, 110 calories per serving. And wow. Um, so a third of this package is 40% of your daily protein. So anyway, that's pretty good. I like those. Um, I got a package of frozen, fro frozen, goodness. I got a package of frozen blueberries. Again, I put these into my yogurt in the morning, and they only have to be in there for like maybe five minutes and they're thawed. So I like that. Don't have to worry about blueberries going bad in the fridge, waiting all week for yogurt. So then I got um, some Trader Joe's roasted corn. I have never tried this, but. One of the ladies that I follow on YouTube, her name is, her YouTube name is Shawnee's Pretty in Ink. Um, you should check her out. I like her a lot. Anyway, she has a, before the Trader Joe's opened near my house, she had one at hers and she does grocery hauls too there sometimes and roasted corn from there is like one of her favorite things. So I'm giving that a go. Thanks, Shawnee. Okay, that's the end of bag number two. Ugh. All right, we're going to make it here, guys. I swear before my battery runs out. Okay, I got some green bananas. Ethan is obsessed with buying green bananas, not yellow. So usually I buy a bunch of green bananas to satisfy his banana fixation. And then um, at Kroger, I'll buy just yellow bananas when I go there tomorrow. Okay, then I got a package of Trader Joe's cracked wheat sourdough bread Oh my gosh, people, this crap is delicious. Well, crap, that doesn't sound that appetizing, but whatever. This is so good. I bought it last weekend, and it's just, I can't even say enough good stuff about it. 99% fat-free. I'm not really watching my fat, but, you know, I mean, I guess if I'm vegan, I'm watching my fat. But anyway, this is really, really good. So, I like that. Got a package of Brussels sprouts. You can microwave this bag apparently, but I'm probably gonna chop them in half, toss them in a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and roast them in the oven because I like them that way a lot. So, or you can do pan roasting too, kind of the same thing, where you saute them in olive oil in the pan, and then you put like a little bit of vegetable stock or like a little bit of water in the pan and let them simmer till they cook all the way through. And then at the end, once the water's evaporated, then the oil will still be remaining and it'll kind of crisp them up again. I like it that way. I got a bag of avocados. This bag of avocados was $2.50. And I eat avocados like nobody's business. So um, Then I got some organic arugula. I think I've talked to you guys before about arugula is my favorite, favorite salad green. So love that stuff. 
And I found out this week you can like chop it up and cook it and put it into stuff. I usually eat it raw, but you can cook it also. And it adds kind of like a peppery flavor to things. Then I got a package of walnuts, broken up walnuts, because I put these into yogurt again in the morning. And um, walnuts are a good source of iron um, and, of course, a good source of protein. But I think they have more iron and possibly calcium than some other nuts. So anyway, I usually keep in my freezer. Wal in fact, I'll stick this on there right now. And we'll see what's in here. Okay, so I usually keep, here are the walnuts that I keep in here. But I also will keep, whoop, okay, you can't see that, but it's pecan pieces. I'll keep um, a package of almonds in the freezer. I also have some um, slivered almonds in the freezer. And then this is cashews. So I keep an assortment, can't talk, an assortment of nuts jammed clearly into the freezer drawer, door, but whatever. Don't judge. Okay, um, so, but if you keep them, nuts have oils in them that can go bad. If you're not careful, they can go rancid on you if you don't eat them within a certain time frame. So I like to keep them in the freezer because it keeps them from going bad. So just a little tip in case you didn't know. Okay, I also got some fresh blueberries because Ethan likes to snack on these and Jacob does too. He likes strawberries. So got those. Yeah, so anyway. Um... I've never tried these, but I'm going to this week. Organic pea shoots. These were $2.99, but it says um, that they're good in wraps. You can steam them, stir fry them, add them to sandwich and wrap. I'm thinking of maybe like chopping these up and putting them in a pasta, like an olive oil garlic pasta dish, but I'm not sure. Anyway, they look really tasty and yum yum, and they have a lot of good stuff in them too. So there we go. I got a couple of bars. Okay, one of the ladies at my work um, let me try one of these pure bars. They're really good. Cherry cashew bar. So I bought one of these to give back to her. I'm pretty sure she's going to say, no, don't give it back to me under any circumstances. And then I'll probably eat it. But hey, <laughs> um, we'll see. Um, if she takes it back, that's great. Because these are like $1.50 a piece, which for a bar that size, it's kind of a little pricey. Like if you bought a, a box of six of these at $1.50 a piece, you'd never buy that. So anyway, but I figured I would give it a go. And those are good. These are the other two that I wanted to try. They're kind bars, which I hear a lot of good stuff about. The first one is almond and coconut. The second one is cranberry almond plus antioxidants, and they're both vegan. Um, and I like it. Okay, so they say all natural, non-GMO, so nothing's genetically modified, gluten-free, low glycemic, good source of fiber, very low sodium. Wow.